All right, so let's talk about my first essential step in editing with Final Cut 10. That's how I start all my projects. And this little essential thing changed my approach uh, on Final Cut 10 and changed my workflow. And thanks to that, I'm using Final Cut 10 now for everything. Anyways, um, this is a typical edit. And as you can see, I have something in front because I want to edit to a music track and it should stay in, in sync. And um, sometimes with the magnetic timeline, it's a bit tricky. And if you put the music track into the primary storyline, yeah, you kind of lose the magnetic timeline stuff and it doesn't make really sense. Or if you put a big slug uh, in here, in basically an empty track and put everything on the secondary storyline, it gets messy as well. So it is, it is kind of nice to have this here. By the way, I noticed I did not set this to music. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the essential thing. Most of my projects are a music track and editing to this, um, like here. I mean, you get the idea. Anyways, so creating a new project, which is a timeline or sequence or whatever. All right, so going ahead, creating a new project. And the first thing is option W, which creates a three second slug, which is basically like a placeholder, empty track, whatever. So now I'm going ahead, choose my music. And usually I go with like 10 frames plaque in front of a edit sometimes that is nice also gives me a bit more flexibility later on if I want to move stuff around a bit or something like that and also it's nicer for YouTube and I usually go ahead and find my first essential edit point and what I do now is just go ahead find the first uh, that, moving around with my Shuffle Pro here and what I do is now hit Q and I put the first clip most likely on top of the slug. Yep, so finding the second and now I go ahead and use A. Yep. And so on. Uh, maybe this one or this one. Yeah. A. Sometimes, if I have a key moment um, and for me to have more overview, if it's a long edit, I create another slug. If this is like an essential moment or essential edit, and uh, whatever. <laughs> Q. Yeah something like that so this is how i built up my edits um, using slugs for the beginning and essential moments um, yeah also essential maybe if you want to edit a music track shorten it if you hit like we it creates a slug as well of course that's all right for the moment what i do now is usually select both clips and create a new group and that way I can delete this slug and now it stays here and I can add it basically inside a music timeline. Um, you get the idea. And now I could do a little transition here and stuff like that. And I don't have to worry about um, all this here and it doesn't create a slug and always keeps uh, staying on this first slug here and it's synchronized. Yeah, that way I could also go ahead and change the end, delete this, stuff like that, as you wish. Um, yeah, so this is my essential first step. I always start with this slug on the beginning and most likely I do all the music editing at first as well. So I have it in this 
uh, secondary storyline group thing, so to speak. All right, that's it. If you have any questions about Final Cut 10, let me know in the comments. Thanks to Chris Fenrick from Final Cut 10 Grill. I mean, I'm not quite sure I heard that tap with the slug back in the days, like two years ago, maybe, maybe three. And since then, I'm using this, and since then, uh, yeah, uh, Final Cut is my main edit tool now, especially for clips like that. It is nice because I can change things and I'm faster and it's more fun, so to speak, to edit like that. And now I'm even using it for big, complex documentary style edits with lots of interviews. And see you on the next one. More Fun Cut 10 content will come to this channel as well. And um, I think the audio from Final Cut to Logic and back is one of the next ones. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Let me know if you want to know about that. And yeah, peace out. Cheers. <laughs>